Um, so then we skip to Space Sector 22. No particular part of Sector 22. As no, we learned in the Green Lantern Corps, that uh, the these sectors are freaking huge. Yeah. So this is nowhere in particular. Couldn't have been like it's, over planet whatever and such. Just Space they don't Sector want, 22. They don't care. It's just like, it's uh, a planet. We're not going to see the people who live there. Who gives a shit? So we see a purple magenta lantern... Something. Star Sapphire. Star Sapphire. I don't know why they're called Sapphires when their wings are pink. They're obviously yeah, not well, blue. Yeah, well, they're, I think... I it's, think it's, it's a Star kind of Sapphire. Like, yeah, I think Star it's, Sapphires are magenta. I don't know. <laughs> magenta. So, so, um... So we see she, she this girl's defending uh, this little... Uh, this little trucker uh, spaceship from this giant fuck space off RV. spaceship. Yeah. <laughs> really? The, this, this spaceship from the 2009 Star Trek. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, and then her 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 ring leaves and goes to Earth. sector uh, two eight one four. four and then another star sapphire comes up in a flower portal mm-hmm. and uh, it's saves her life. <laughs> it's it's very very shiny and and pink. Yeah, yeah. Are there any male star sapphires? Not to the best of my knowledge, as I recall, it's just an all female group. Uh, that's that's uh, kind of what uh, happens when they create a group. For a specific purpose in a storyline, mm-hmm. and then later someone adds it to a motif. Yeah, because the Star Sapphires were kind of a completely different group. Yeah, they mm-hmm. they weren't originally part of the they Green weren't, Lantern. Thing. Yeah, and the same thing with the Sinestro Corps. They were yeah. just sort of like these offshoots, these like kind of temporary, not the temporary, but just like you know, incidental offshoots almost. Mm. But then they're like, dude, you have three of the seven colors of the rainbow. Let's totally add the rest. And now though they, these three have to somehow fit within that dynamic, they don't quite. But uh, right. I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on with these rings because first I'm, yellow. I'm well, trying to then figure red, out how she keeps pink. her clothes uh, on. Hmm. Well, the ring, the <laughs> ring. I mean, magic. I mean, or whatever it is. That's, that's what's doing be it. What it is. Anyway, I do have to call shame. You have swivels, swivels hips in here. Swivel spine. <laughs> I see oh, yeah, ass and boobs. Sh- yeah. Yeah, you Buzz can't broke the body. You, well, then again, you know the maybe, ring. Maybe that's why they used to call her fatality. Because <laughs> <laughs> the bitch is dead. She just likes to rip herself in pieces. So anyway, um, so then this new star sapphire goes to investigate. Yeah. Or says she's going to figure it out. I don't know. It's kind of anomalous here at this. It's like, huh, and the guys in the little ship are like, "Oh, thank goodness, the hero finally arrived." And and he's like, I'm not a hero. I'm just a hunter who finally saw the light. But whoever thinks, you no, know, she's going on. It's like, I'm, she's are you gonna, are you gonna just let them she's die? Gonna leave or? them to die. It's like, yeah, yeah. it's like, what are, what's gonna happen? No. But in any case, we switch back to Times Square, which yeah, it doesn't say what doesn't sector say is. what it's, sector and nope, when. No. Nope. What if there's a Times Square of Sector Nine Million and Four? We don't <laughs> know. You know, it might be Times Square of Space Sector Twenty Two for all. Who knows? Yeah. But, but it's it, apparently it, Earth. It sure, it looks like uh, <laughs> we're assuming New York City. <laughs> yeah. So and then this crane operator is gonna, it broken off from the from the building and then it falls and it's like oh no but then Kyle Rayner's to save the day with some like, big oh, big burly men oh yeah and uh, this is a very interesting this is this is a this is a two page shot oh yeah and this is a, a much better two page shot than you know some of the more. Red Lanterns and in, in yeah. Star Kitty was kind of a throwaway, but you know this also has some extra paneling on the bottom. But this I, is a, something really cool to look at. Oh, I'm yeah. still totally in love with Dexter Kitty. Come on, <laughs> yes. And, and, and I, I love this. The kid is like annoyed because he's not the one he recognizes. And the reason why I find this hilarious is because they think that children know who Green Lantern is. <laughs> Well, he's wearing a flash shirt, actually. Yeah. Well, children probably know who uh, John Stewart Green Lantern is. Well, those children are now about twenty-two. I feel old. Yeah. That, that, that's the problem. It's like th- th- those characters haven't been in anyone's consciousness except for the movie in at least ten years. And this little kid is just giving him just the the kid, giving him a hard time and, and dissing his costume, and it's like. <laughs> this little bastard knows the knows the blogger from the Aquaman comic. Seriously, doesn't he? <laughs> maybe that's his son. Runs yeah. the family. Oh man, I hope he doesn't have a kid. Oh. Uh, but uh, bloggers do breed, though. I've seen it. That's what's sick. And then, um, then suddenly this this blue lantern ring uh, comes up to Kyle Rayner and says, "Kyle Rayner of Earth, you have been chosen." And he's all like. It's like um, I don't, just got don't say my name. Yeah, like no one's supposed to know who I am. What's Secret. this man? 
Yeah, and then, oh, my mask actually kind of covers some of my face. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the Red Lantern ring shows up, and the Sinestro yellow ring shows up, and then the Star Sapphire ring shows up, and... Uh, the orange one, I'm like, oh shit, someone's mad. Yeah. Someone's coming for you. I don't know the orange one. But he's all like... Uh, or maybe not. Sh- this can't be good. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, they're all saying, you've been chosen, you like, pick me, pick me! Yeah. <laughs> um, and then suddenly, all oh, the different... Uh, uh, lantern or uh, ring owners or or friends of the ring owners, I should say, come after yeah. him, and they're all like, "It's and like you stole our ring, you motherfucker! <laughs> our yeah. jewelry, we take our jewelry very oh. seriously." We also have another swivel spine. Yeah, a little space oh, jewelry, wow. you know. I mean, wasn't she also the one who like coughs up blood? Yep, yep. She's not because that wouldn't be sexy. But well, she did have a swivel spine and cough up blood in, in Red Lantern. Yeah. And she also was unintelligent. <laughs> that, that's right. I guess she does have to talk. <laughs> to, be, to be fair, you know, she might actually be able to bend that way. Well, because we are getting the, the bottom yeah. of the ass shot, it's not like she's standing and totally yeah. twisting. Yeah. But, we're, but that's interesting, too, because I don't think you can actually... Well, maybe. Yeah, well, she's flying. Do she's, you fly? No. Okay. I did once on a plane. And so we get and another two-page spread. Uh, Actually, spoiler, that's spoiler. the ending. This is, well, this is—it's really no different than what we just described. Well, yeah, so honestly, it's like I mean, it's been—it's we can't tell this one. It's been leading up to this. Well, the, the freaking cover yeah, gives it cover away. Gives yeah. It. So and, what are we gonna but, do? Yeah, like, not we're gonna the show this one. This this is very—it's a very cool tool page. Oh, hell yeah! And uh, because I don't know, it's 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 not as cheap. You know, sometimes people will call it two pages as cheap, but this is a very cool page uh just oh, yeah. i don't know just very cool and it's like i'm so gonna kill who put you guys up to this oh yeah um it's like yeah yeah you you see that again and then look around you um <laughs> well, what, what i love about it is just that it almost unintentionally uh draws attention to the absurdity of all these different color cores <laughs> because it just kind of looks hilarious to me the idea of, like all these people in basically the same basic outfit coming after him for their jewelry and it was like you stole our space jewelry <laughs> <laughs> we enforced that shit yeah it was like oh my god so this is actually pretty funny so green lantern new guardians number one what'd you think uh i'd, I'd give it a succeeds honestly because it gives me like i mean because the thing is the nice thing about it you don't have to know anything about these other cores other than the fact that they have rings, and you're already shown how the Green Lantern's rings work in this one. So you kind of get an idea, okay, right. there's more than one group that has these rings of different colors. Right. And it's generally not considered good form to steal them <laughs> from people <laughs> who, are, who are in the middle of doing their daily work, whatever that might happen to be. Right. So everything that's in there is more than enough for me to understand it, except for why the hell the red guy keeled over. I mean, there's a million theories... But and they're all seemingly viable. They, yeah, it's all like enough to figure out. Okay, look, everyone who kind of loses their ring gets fucked up or dies. So well, the girl was in space, so she, of course. Yeah, and the other one was in the midst of people he was just murdering. Yeah, so, so of course. Yeah, so it's kind of like you know, I, I kind of I get it on a thematic level. It works, right? Um, but yeah, definitely, I I liked Cal Rayner. You got him, got enough of his information about him to kind of know what's going on. He's sort of the Aquaman of the Green Lantern. <laughs> Everyone kind of shits on him. They're like, wait, wait there's a guy who's talking on his um, on his telephone to a buddy, and he's like, yeah, Green Lantern just flew by my place. What? No, not that guy. No, 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 not the black one either. Yeah, I know he's your favorite. <laughs> you know, just like utterly shitting on this dude unintentionally, completely. But yeah. based on what's going on. He's kind of the, the the lowest of the low, and he's getting shit on by the universe as well. Oh, well. So yeah. I, I'm really kind of enjoying this book so yeah. far, even though I can't figure out. What about you? I'm going to give it a succeeds for pretty much all the same reasons that Marcus already detailed. And uh, <clears throat> I'm just really amused by the concept of, <laughs> let's just throw them all together just yeah. <laughs> in a big salad bowl and shake it yep, up and yep. see what happens. Um, I have to give this a succeeds as well. Um, it's, it's, I, like, I really don't know much about Green Lanterns, let alone all the different colors. And, uh, I'd say this is probably a really good, or potentially a really good introduction yeah. to all the different colors. And also just the whole situation is just, I mean, it's a good, it's good introduction to Green Lanterns in general. And then it just has a great setup. It's like, ooh, well, what the hell is going on? Is this maybe related to something other what is going on that I'm pretty sure that this isn't normal and it's obvious mm-hmm. and it's very interesting so I did pick up number two and we'll do some uh, we'll do some quick recaps of some of our favorite number twos after we finish 
uh, reviewing the first 52 of DC Comics. But this was New Guardians, uh, Green Lantern New Guardians, number one from DC Comics. (laughs) 